two desserts that I crave for all the time are ice cream and chocolate cake. The recipe that we are making today is the best of both worlds because it's an ice cream with chocolate cake in it. It doesn't get better than this. Let's get started. The first thing that we need for this recipe is chilled whipping cream. I'm going to measure two cups of it and add it into my bowl. Now using my electric mixer, I'm going to start beating this first at low speed and then gradually increase the speed. It's very important to use a whipping cream for this recipe, which means that it should have a fat content of at least 30%. I've done detailed videos on what is whipping cream, how to use it and what are the different brands of whipping cream available in India. I'll leave the relevant links in the description box below. After beating for a couple of minutes, you'll realize that the cream will start increasing in volume. In fact, it's almost doubled up. Now what we want to do is beat the cream until it reaches the stage of soft peaks, which means that once I lift my electric mixer up, the cream will form peaks that do not hold their structure. So I've beaten my cream to soft peaks. Now the second ingredient that you need to make this ice cream is condensed milk. You could use Nestle Milk Maid or Amul Mithai Maid. Or if you want, you could also make condensed milk at home. I'll leave the recipe for that in the description box below. So I'm going in with 400 grams of condensed milk and we'll beat it with the cream until it's nicely incorporated. This looks good. I also like to use a spatula just to scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl to ensure that everything is nicely incorporated. And now for the third and final ingredient which is chocolate cake. I am using crumbs from my eggless chocolate cake that I made at home. I'll share the recipe link in the description box below. In case you don't want to make the cake at home, you could also use store-bought cake or use dry cakes from brands like Britannia which are very easily available in the market. I'm now going to add one cup of these chocolate cake crumbs into my condensed milk cream mixture and use a spatula to mix them in. I'm making the ice cream with chocolate cake crumbs, but you could use this as a base recipe and play around with the flavors that you like. If you don't have chocolate cake, maybe you could add in some chocolate chips or make swirls with chocolate ganache which would also taste amazing. You could also crumble in some cookies and make a great cookies and cream ice cream. If chocolate is not your thing, maybe you could add in some fruits Mango is in season and would taste great here. The mixture is ready. Let's transfer this into an airtight freezer safe container. And now the toughest part to wait for the ice cream to freeze. I'm going to pop this in the freezer overnight and we'll check in tomorrow. This ice cream was in the freezer overnight and it set beautifully. What I like to do is scoop it out and serve it in my favorite waffle cones. So the next time that I'm confused between ice cream and chocolate cake, I know exactly what I'm going to make and I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe out because something tells me you're going to love it as much as I do. So make this chocolate cake ice cream or your version of it and share pictures on Instagram by tagging me at shavesh17. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, please stay safe and take care.